my sweet unicorns, welcome back. I'm Miss Sweet, and this is Miss Sweet's Craft and Therapy channel. I am now bringing you today part two of the new books for this month, the month of April. As the note says, 2022. I can take that off now. And I'm going to put these to the side. Now, most of these are uh, I obtained either from Amazon Japan or the Lyrica site um, for the French um, Hachette books. So one of the first up, I just want to see, okay. Um, bookmarks, I love my bookmarks. I think I've gotten a lot of other people hooked on the bookmarks now. Um, this one is a new one called Summertime. And I think... I think I can bring you in a little bit more on this one. I'm going to have to put you out when it gets to the bigger books, though. So there are, oh, they're not telling you how many are in here this time. I think there's usually 100. Or is it 50? 50, 50. There's 50 bookmarks in here to color. So we've got this Moana, baby Moana. We've got Nick. And Snow White. And there's good old Mickey with his sunglasses in the... He must have the mirrored sunglasses because he's seeing the palm trees in his eyes. <laughs> there's Goofy looking all cool with his sunflower. These are really cute. Dory Fish. Uh, there's Carl and... Um, yeah, um, Ellie. From Up. Sorry, I'm kind of... And there is Belle. That's pretty. And we've got Aurora, Sleeping Beauty. Uh, Rapunzel. Pascal, hanging out there. With, she's doing her painting. And we got Ariel. And we've got another Moana and Pua. And there's Lilo. There's flower. They're pretty heavy cardstock. Mickey and Minnie. And in case um, maybe you weren't watching when I've done these, I haven't completed some in a while. What I do with them, um, I don't cover the backs with paper or anything. Matter of fact, I use that as like a little writing. So if I'm going to give one to somebody, I might let, put a little message, you know, thanks for everything you've done for me or happy birthday or whatever it is. So um, I will tend to leave them blank when I'm going to use them or give them. I do have a laminating machine. It's a little, it's a little machine. It's nothing big. I think I spent uh, $22 on Amazon for it. Um, the laminating sheets, that's a different story, but I haven't gone through a whole pack yet and it's got to be close to a year now um i will put i can fit five of these side by side on one laminating sheet and uh, put it through and they're laminated cut around them and i've got laminated bookmarks i do use them in my books um thought about using them i did try using them in my coloring pages but they do tend to fall down so i'm still doing a flip but you can still do that Oh, there's Daisy's nieces. Don't remember their names. Oh, a stitch with a cocoa cocktail. These are these are adorable ones. And then we've got uh, Olaf in summer. Sorry. And Mickey Mouse looking quite cool there. Stitch buried and looking like a mermaid. The nephews and the nieces doing battle. And we got Lilo and Stitch and her sister. I forget the sister's name. Minnie Mouse as a mermaid. And there's Donald. Oh, what's on this? I didn't notice that before. There's something on there. 
doesn't rub off, so that's part of the something happened in. Oh well, these are not the easiest things to return. That is the one thing when you order books from Japan or um, Marika, you are ordering from a foreign entity, and if you need to return it, and you're paying a hefty postage to return it, so. That's not something that's going to make or break the book. I'm sure I can cover that up with something when I color it. And got Mickey. Uh, don't remember his name from Lilo and Stitch. Moana. Uh-oh. Donald and the bees. They looking pretty angry. Toy Story. Oh, Pooh and Piglet. That's cute. Oh, um, forget her name, but it's that new Luca. That movie Luca. You can watch that on Disney Plus. That's the little girl from the village that becomes his friend. Dopey and Pongo. <laughs> and that's also Luca. So that's Luca. I forgot his name. He's also like the same race. Um, they're mermaids, I guess, right? I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. And then that's the little village girl. And there's Pongo and Perdida. Roger is the, what is her name? Anita, that's what it is. We got Mickey, Summerburger, Lilo, Pooh Bear. Oh, <laughs> Pluto playing in the sand and he's making all little faces of himself with a, like a, you know, a sand thing. One of those sand toys. Goofy. Did I say Pluto? That's Goofy. Goofy again. Oh, we've got... Oh, I forgot her name. Thumper's girlfriend. Oh, I can't remember that one. Uh, we got Alice, the Mad Hatter. Queen of Hearts and her cardsman. And cars. And there's Russell from up. Having some chocolate. Baloo. Tiana and Prince Naveen. And that's that one. That's summertime. Really cute one. Then I also picked up this one as a new one, also a new release. And it's a Disney Vintage. And there's 50. So I'm going to try and go through these a little quicker. Because we do still have quite a few books to get through. And I know you guys are probably going to curse me for the length of these videos. <laughs> there's my guy. My favorite sidekick. You should have seen that video by now where I told you my favorite sidekick. <laughs> Those are cute. Oh, sunset. That's definitely the vintage Mickey and Minnie. And there's my guy again. Slipping on the soap. Oh, 
that way? Yeah, that way. There are a lot of them this way this time in this book. Oh, poor Mickey Mouse. Mini parachuting pre bow. <laughs> Watch out behind you, Mick. Now, I can't remember his, is his that Horace? Is that Horace? And then the girl with, um, is, um, Clarabelle. Oh, yeah, there's Clarabelle. I think he was Horace. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm not right, tell me what his name was. Daisy, oh, Donald, tuck, 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 must be knock, 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 really. Mickey and Minnie, again, pre-bow, she's got that hat, but she's got her polka dots. Clarabelle and I, I think he's Horace, I think. Mickey playing the piano. There's a vintage Donald. Oh no, Mickey, Minnie's not in the seat. See what I mean? This is why He's my favorite sidekick. He has always been my Mickey's side. All right, and that's that one. All right, one of the other books I picked up, this is also a new release um, from Hachette Heroes, or not, was it Hachette or Hachette? Yeah, Hachette Heroes Art Therapy. Um, this is a mini block, uh, Japan, or Japan, or Nippon, whichever one. So this is just one of the mini blocks. Yeah, you can still see this. With cultural references to items in Japan and art and and this is one of the non this is a non color by number So share the dragon. Oops. Ninjas. Oh, origami. The swans. I have not yet done that one. I've tried once and it didn't. So I will kind of let let it go and okay I'll come back to it again good luck cat some of them I know some of them I don't but those are pretty bridges in Japanese garden demon a geisha Oh, and, uh, um, what is it called? Onsen. At an onsen. So natural hot springs. And my brother does that. What is it called? Bonsai.
herring fish. I forgot what they're called. Oh, a little sailor moon. I'm going to say those are probably uh, sakura or cherry blossoms, aka cherry blossoms. And then I, some people know, some people don't. The cherry blossom, the cherry trees that these uh, blossoms come from are ornamental cherry trees. So they do not grow cherries. They just have those beautiful blossoms that last a very short time. And then they're just green leaves. And again, I forgot, I'm pretty sure, where is it in front of? I can't remember, but in DC, Japan did gift the United States quite a few uh, cherry blossom trees and they are planted along, I wanna say, it's one of the monuments, is it not? They're on both sides of the road. It's beautiful when they, they, uh, they bloom. Japanese neon. There's a temple or a castle. And there are quite a few people. I, I think I've said this to you guys before. I've um, just grown interest in Japan itself and the culture and um, the country. And so there's a couple of people. Um, Tokyo Lens is one of them. Um, he is a photographer. Um, he does work in Japan, has worked for Japan tourism, um, going around doing photo shoots, videos. Um, but he will do walks, and he does it live, in a new area. And he just walks through villages and towns and, and videoing it live. The whole, you know, when you're there watching it with him, so you're walking with him through these streets. And that is just how narrow a lot of these streets are and in the older villages with the older homes. It's beautiful. It's really Tory Gate, that's what they are, Tory Gates. Lucky cat eating sushi in his yeah kimono. A very beautiful art, very beautiful country. It does remind me. I mean, it's what do they say? Japan is comprised of six thousand plus islands. Um, it has the north and the south like the United States and the uh, northern much like I think much like the weather we have you know snowy cold warmer more tropical the further south you get um, but they have so much more open land than we do and just beautiful views And of course, an older history than us. So buildings that are more than hundreds of year old, years old. I mean, we are a very young country. Samurai warrior. Very interesting. I'm sure, you know, everybody gets involved in something. Something piques your interest and... Anyway. 
I think every book I've seen always has a remake of this painting. Japan, 60 pages, mini block. All right, and this one, um, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Hold on one second. Um, Uh, I saw this on Jamie's Coloring Love. It's the Sum Sum Sums, um, but they look like little eggs. Now, whether this does Easter eggs or not, I did not. No, I didn't. One other I did, but I had, did not go in and uh, translate that yet. And I can't now because my phone is up there. So, <coughs> <coughs> this is a um, Japan Disney coloring book. But this one has, and it's very light lines. Um, they aren't single-sided. As you can see, there is a colored picture of the other item. So you're not going to want to use your alcohol markers. You're going to want to, yes, um, uh, pencils, watercolors, crayons, something that's not going to bleed through. But they do have an example of a finished page here and then the page for you to color. And the lines on this are a... Uh, more of a brown than a black. <clears throat> so they just look like the Tsum Tsums look like eggs. So kind of got that Easter feel to it. Sorry, guys. That's pretty. It actually looks like pretty easy coloring. This one looks kind of watercolorish. I bet you you could. This is a pretty thick paper. I bet you you could get away with watercolor on here or use the uh, um, Darwin Ink Tents, you know, or any of those watercolor pencils. And even this one looks like it was kind of done with watercolor. <laughs> Chipdale and Clarice. Clarice is pretty popular in Japan, so you will see her with Chippendale in a lot of things, <clears throat> which you don't see. You don't see her at all in any of the U.S. parks. and Timothy Mouse, Marie, she's pretty popular. I have seen the last time I was in the parks a little bit more of a pushing or following of Marie. If you go to Epcot in the France section, you will see a lot more Marie merchandise there, at least the last time I was there, um, but she's pretty, she's pretty popular in, in Japan. Stitch with lemons, fruit. Alice, just a really cute book, you know? And a fairly easy, I think, pretty simple to color. Beauty and the Beast.
Snow White. Ariel and yeah, his name just went Eric. That's it, Prince Eric. <laughs> Sebastian and Flounder. <laughs> They're adorable. Oh, and there's King Triton. This one's cute. Now, this is definitely Easter eggs. I hadn't sat down and really watched this, uh, looked at this, so I'm kind of looking at this fully with, you know, tough time to look at, view the picture. So, yeah, those are definitely, that's what they definitely are. This is, this is definitely an Easter book. Look, oh, there are even egg cups here. Aw. Daisy and Minnie. The poo gang. Oh no, Tigger. He's gonna have to bounce into that basket. Thumper and yeah, I, I still haven't remembered her name. And there. Like a little mandala, but not a repeating, but all the characters. You could probably take a stencil, put something in there if you're not a good drawer. I'm not, so I would probably use some kind of stencil, maybe stencil in Happy Easter. Or use stickers and put in Happy Easter. Something like that. So that's, yeah, I don't know what this says. Book of Disney Tsum Tsum as Easter eggs. Then I kind of jumped on the um, eerie um, bandwagon. Um, I, thought I, I thought there would be... I like what's in here. I thought there would be more of it, but, um, so anyway, I have this one and I think her first or the first and second tale, that's it. Um, but this is her newest books. I forgot what it's called. I'm sure you guys have really seen this. Um, most of these books, and this was also off of, um, Amazon Japan. Um, they always have a dust jacket on their books most, most of the time. But I, like I said, I am sure most of you have seen this book. I'm just going to do a quick flip. And now this is a, a story, and I, you could Google Translate this. It, Google Translate is not exact, but it comes close. You can get the gist of what it's trying to say. But there are some cute ones in here. Princess, I'm going to say, in the garden. There's Mr. Elf. He's looking rather happy. Mrs. Claus. And I, I think this is um, um, Scrooge, I think. Unless somebody knows it to be something else. But what makes me say, it looks like the streets of London and there's ghosts following him. That's what I think, anyway. And it says Halloween. And these are cute little vignettes. It looks like they're in which school? She's making, she's a witch making her stuffed animals dance. Yeah, I'm not sure of all these fairy tales or fables. And, um, I'm going to say that must be the witch's cottage with her broom parked outside. dragon. Yeah, I think that's one of the only dragons. 
There's one page I really like in here that I have not seen in anybody else's books. Um, and nobody else seems to have drawn them in their mythical creatures. And pretty angel. Zodiacs. This one, a gargoyle. And of course, a unicorn. That one um, kind of impressed me because I, once I saw a gargoyle in here, I was like, oh, wow. I don't think I've really ever seen any other fantasy creature books. Um, a gargoyle. A mermaid getting her hair done. Some of them I know what they are, but some of them I don't know what, you know, fable or tale they're referring to. So I suppose this probably tells me everything I need to know. So if I would just translate it, I'd have a better idea now, wouldn't I? And it's hard to believe that this is all drawn with a toothpick. Ink and a toothpick. You know, a lot of work has gone into this. So this looks like this is just a collaboration page of all the other pages. And some, looks like postcards, yep. You can color, and this is on a creamier, a more yellowy paper than the... And that is Erie's newest book. Next one. Merchant's Grand Block 60 Colorage. Um, villains. But this is not a... Um, okay, you can fall down now. This is not a color by number. This is their Grand Block. These books do tend to come apart because they're only they're not string bound they're just blue bound um these are the books that i do take to um i have a few of them now so i will probably be taking these what do i have three three now um i will take them to my local ups and i have them spiral bound them so they will cut this off and then they do a metal um spiral bound so here we got ursula on the front So these are their um, grand block, their large block books. Not quite as thick as the uh, books made in Japan, but a little bit thicker than Amazon paper. Very evil. Oh, what's his name with his song? Oh, I can't remember his name. Well, his golden treasures. And there she is from the front cover. Brain fart. Yeah, can't remember. The hyenas. Queen of Hearts, Captain Hook, and Tick Tock. Mm. 
Dr. Facilier. Shira Khan, Jungle Book. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get that kid. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. Sorry. The evil queen, the poison apple. Oh, is that her sister? I can't remember her name. Like I said, I've seen them. Um, and I think if you watched my coloring chat that was posted before this, I'm not big into the princess movies. Hades. Jafar and the Scarabs. Scott again. Oh, I forgot her name. Yeah, the sweet little innocent lamb. I forgot her name, too. Sorry. Yeah, her name, too. Can't remember them all. I'm sorry. Lucifer. He's kind of popular in Japan, too. Um, I, I think I've told you, if you don't know, I shop with a, um, a, a company on Instagram called Ballpoint, Ballpens, etc., um, and they are personal shoppers. They go live a lot on Instagram in the stores. So actually just the other day, uh, a couple of days ago, they were in Japan Disney. They had a whole little line of a home goods line of Lucifer. There was a bath mat, there was socks, there was, so they had this whole line of Lucifer. Yeah, and you know what? I probably should have said that was my least favorite movie. But actually, I could take this one over Frozen. <laughs> Maleficent. Yeah, he's another one I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I forgot his name, too. I think the next three will go a lot quicker than next three. I have three more and they are color by number ones. So I'll be showing the answers. Um, so. That's a different looking, where is that? What's that genie? That was some a different one. I can't remember now. I can't remember. I suffer from CRS. Sorry. Oh, that's when uh, Mother uh, Gothel. Yeah. 
Gizma. Another coffee. Another Dr. Facilier. have names. I don't remember. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, King Candy. Looks like we got some postcard type in the back. Just the two of them. Yep, see. They even have on the back like a postcard or writing. So that is Marchants, which I'm taking as um, villains. The next one I have is there, they came out with a new, let's see, it was this Fitton. Um, Mickey and Friends. Um, color by number mystery. Um, so this is one of their newest. This came out, I think it was just this month, was it not? Uh, it tells me March. It came out in March. So I am going to show the answers to this and I'll show you the they do have some fill-ins in this one now. They're starting to put little, I don't know why, but there's a little bit of yellow. There's a little bit of gray and black already filled in. Not getting it, but um, these seem to be much more detailed. They're a lot smaller than others. I'm just putting it up close so you can kind of see for yourself what they're looking like. And I'm about to go to the answers. So if you do not want to see the answers, Please look away now. So um, this one is a lot like that vintage um, no, uh, bookmark. It is a lot of the older, although this one is Rescue Rangers. Um, but it is a lot more of the other ones they have not had in there before. The pictures are brighter than some of past issues. Um, so they're not as dark. Some of the, one of the issues, the pictures seem like really dark. And not dark evil, but dark in color so they don't seem as vibrant and lively. A good gist of what's in this one. If there's something you may like. See, that was from Jack and the Beanstalk, so that's an older one. Darkwing Duck. I think that's the first time I've seen a Darkwing Duck in these books. And there's another one. I love it. My older son loved Darkwing Duck. The Beagle Brothers. Chip and Dale is the Rescue Rangers. So really, I, I really think this one's a good one. I think there's one or two more I have coming. Um, they were pre-ordered. I don't think they've been released. One is not being released till May. I pre-ordered it, but and you can do that on Rika's site. You can see, you know, it does give you the date. Here's something to remember. It is a French website, a European. So the date is backwards. So if you see something that says 4-3-2022, that does not mean it's being released on April 3rd. It means it's being released on March 4th. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind when you look at those. Now, the last, next two and the last two books I have are non-Disney but they are um, uh, 
mystery color books um, by Hachette. Um, this one is Sorcerers or Witches. Um, so you can kind of see. I think they're trying to get a much clearer, and these t appear to be bigger, um, the colors that you need to use at the bottom of the page. All right, so if you do not want to see the answers to this book, please turn away. And here we go. So anything to do with witches and sorcerers and wizards. And we got our, our cat, our eye, and much witch flying over the moon. A frog. These are all pretty cool. <laughs> There's the typical, or not the, not the typical, but how they portrayed witches, the big nose with the wart on it. So that's Art Therapy Color Mystery Colorage Sorcerers. And then the last one that I have, um, another new one. This one came out as well in March. Mandalas, um, color by number, mystery colors, mandalas. Um, much not as detailed as the Disney ones, you can see these are not as, doesn't, don't look as bad. Um, I am going to flip to the answers now. So once again, look away, look away. So here are the answers. Some really pretty ones. I like that one. And that one's kind of cool with the tiger in it. This one's more paisley than and that one than mandala. that one so roses and pansies more roses the elephant on the balancing on the ball uh -huh. tropical birds the sun and the moon that's a pretty hummingbird. And of course, all these color by number are, all have a hundred pictures in them. So even the non-Disney, there are a hundred pictures. And the same thing, they have, um, they are double-sided. So again, same paper as the Disney books, if you have them, no different, because it's the same publisher, just different content. But I enjoy their Disney books, so therefore I do enjoy their non-Disney books as well. All right, ladies and potentially gentlemen, 
my sweet unicorns. Thank you for joining me for part two. Um, not sure what will be next on the agenda. I'd have to consult my schedule. Um, but uh, in any case, everybody take care. Be you, be kind, and be sweet. And we'll see you real soon. Thank you.